Hi, welcome back. Thanks for watching. In this video, I will walk you through the steps on creating your own custom morphs for your Dash 3D model using Blender 3D. Uh, the first steps that we're the first thing that we're going to do is um, export our model, then import that model into Blender, then do our sculpting, then export that model again, then re-import that model into Dash 3D or Dash Studio and then finally set up our morphs. Before we get started, if you like this video and it has helped you and you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Let's get started. So select your Genesis, your Genesis 8 model. Click the arrow. Select the eyelashes and delete. Select your model again. Go down to where it says parameters, click parameters. Under general, select mesh resolution, change, change it from high to base. And just for me, just to be sure, I like to just turn down the subdivision levels and the render subdivision levels, just to be sure. Now select that model and export it. You can hit the icon in the toolbar or go to file and export. I'm going to call this bumps, save it as an OBJ file. Go click the presets and select DAS Studio. Change the scale to 1% and just copy these settings. Um, uh, ignore invisible nodes is selected, write uh, UV coordinates, Right normals, right faces, right polylines, right separate objects, right groups, right surfaces, right materials, and uh, quote paths containing spaces. Click accept. Now let's switch to Blender. And what I like to do, just to be sure, you don't necessarily have to do this. I like to go to file and just go to the default and load factory settings. And that basically just clears um, gives you a, just like a fresh default factory set, uh, factory version of Blender, just to make sure uh, nothing is nothing that's installed or your settings uh, disturb anything. So I'm going to select all and delete everything in the scene. Then I'm going to go to File, Import, and click uh, Wavefront OBJ. and import that bumps obj file now for the import settings uh, just select image search smooth groups lines uh, the clamp, the clamp size zero the forward uh, is negative z the up is y and under geometry choose keep vertex order and select polygroups and click import object as you can see our object is is imported select that object and switch to scope mode just go to the top left and choose scope mode and do your sculpting you can come up here where it sees it looks like a little butterfly and choose the x and that's just going to mirror, help uh, mirror your sculpting. So I'm just going to do some little bumps around the figure. Okay, we have our bumps. And I'm going to go back to object mode. Now we have our figure, select your figure, go to file, go to export, and select a Wavefront OBJ and save your model. Click morphs, and I'm gonna call this bumps. Okay. 
And for the presets, select uh, selection only, making sure that you have your object selected, your 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 figure selected. Uh, select uh, check ob uh, object objects OBJ objects for scale. Pay uh, close attention to this. Set this to one hundred percent. For the path mode, choose auto. For forward, uh, choose negative Z. For up, Y. Now for the geometry, apply modifiers, write normals, include UVs, uncheck write materials, check keep vertex order, that's important, poly groups, and that's pretty much it. I'm not sure if you need to include the UVs, so let's just uncheck that. Write normals, and I believe that's pretty much it. You can also click and save this as a preset. and click export. We're gonna go back to Daz Studio, select your figure, go to edit, go to figure, and choose Morph Loader Pro. This dialog box opens up, choose for the preset, click and choose Das Studio and click this choose more files button and choose your bumps. Let's see. Okay, bumps. And I believe that's pretty much it. And click accept. Now, if everything goes well, you will see uh, loading morph bumps created morphs successfully and click OK. If something goes wrong, it's probably because your vor your vertex order or the order of your vertexes was wrong. So you must have did something wrong. That's most likely why. Click OK. And in the parameters menu, click morphs. And as you can see, the bumps on the right hand side of the panel show up and there you go, as you can see, move that up to 100%. And as you can see, we have those bumps. On our model. Thanks for watching the video. Again, if you like this video, if this video has helped you a lot and you want to see more videos, please hit that like button and subscribe and check out the other videos in my channel. Take care.